Hi, uh, my name is Nene Ibrako. I am an accountant and QuickBooks consultant. Um, today I'm going to take you through um, an accounting and billing software for schools. Um, so we are basically talking about using QuickBooks to to do the accounting for for your school. Um, and with QuickBooks, um, you'll be able to create, print, and also email student bills. You'll be able to also um, track student bills and payments uh, made against those bills. You'll be able to print receipts for fee payment by, by this student. You can also print them um, on a regular basis uh, or periodically student statements she also um, you can also um, view or print student account balances if you have some inventory in the school you can use the software to to, to track then in general it can quickbooks can be used to track all sorts of income from you for your school all expenses asset liability and equity and also um, generate various financial reports for for for, for your school so basically, these are the features of, of QuickBooks and how it, 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 it will help you, your school. So once QuickBooks is set up, when you open, you have to log in with your username and password. So you enter your username and a password to, to log in into to the database. So if you have multiple users, each user, each user will have its username and a password to access the data good so once you 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 open quickbooks um the first thing that you're supposed to do is to review the chart of account quickbooks will give you a sample chart of account which you have to review and make deletions and additions if it is required so there's a chart of account that has been built or we built or i bought for a school that we did um, QuickBooks for called Westland International School. So this is a chart of account that we populated for them. We have some cash, bank account, we have some fixed assets, we have some income accounts, we have some expenses. So that is that is that. So you have to populate your, your chart of account. If you don't have a chart of account, we can we can design one for you. So this is what we design for that this particular school. So after building your chart of account, the next thing is to add your items and services. And when I say items, and services, I mean when you are building a student, what are what are the things that you, you bill the student for? So for this particular school, these are their billing items. You have the bill student for admission fees. They also charge them um, or bill assessment fees. You do extra classes, the bill, feeding fees, ICT, PTA dues, transport, tuition fees, uniform, and vocational day. So these are all the things that you can find on a student bill. Or these are the things that when they are being a student, uh, they used to bill. So we call them billing items. In QuickBooks, we call it items and services. So here too, if you buy some books and you sell, it will be added as, 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 as part of the items and services. So these are billing items, basically what you see on an invoice of a student or what are the things that you, you use to bill the student for. So you do your child account, then you do your items and services. And the next thing is to add your student list. So the student first the class and the student list. So each class and the student that we have um, in them. So for example, for this particular school, we populated them. Um, this is the class, and these are the students in each class. This is another class, and these are the students under you. So for each class, there is a student. We have populated all the students, and each of them have a unique code for accounting purpose. This code can also be their, their student ID numbers. So that is that. So the first thing, you populate your chart of account. You also populate your items and services, that is the billing items. Then you now populate the class and the student that we have in it. So if you have this student or class list in Excel, it 
can be easily imported into um, QuickBoost. We just have to do some 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 additional settings to it, then you can import it into QuickBoost. So once you finish this, you you are ready to go. You are ready to enter your transactions. Good. Now we are going to enter some bills for for students. So you, in doing that, you can do it. Can build a student one by one. That is, if each student fees differs. So maybe you have students in crutch, okay? But depending on the arrangement the parent has with the, the school, maybe they, they 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 might not be paying the same fees. So if students are not paying the same fees and you want to build them, then you have to build them individually. And that's how you do it. So I'll just click on create invoice. I will select the student that I'm billing individually. Now select what I'm what I'm billing them for. So I'm billing for admission fee. I'm billing him thousand two hundred for feeding fees. Um, I'm billing this particular individual hundred uniform two hundred. Fee five thousand. Making a total of six thousand five hundred. So this particular student is being billed this amount. Once I finish, I'll just click on save a new. Remember there are other options that you can choose here. Maybe first term. Once you finish, save a new. Then I can do for another student. Remember, you only do the invoicing one by one. That is when the the fees for each student is different. Now, if the fees for all the students is the same, so for example, you are billing all the students the same thing, then you can do what you call a batch invoice for them. So what it means is that you are going to create one invoice and duplicate it to all the students. So that's how you do it. On top of the create invoice, you see create a batch here. You can also find it under customers, create batch invoice. So I'll just click on create a batch. Then you're going to select the students that you want to do the batch for so i'm doing the batch for all these students and the crash i remember i've already created a bill for these two because they are they are the amount is different then this other students who are in crash their fees are the same so once i finish i'll just click on add i'll just click on next i will now come and select what i'm billing them for Once I finish, this is the total amount that I'm charging this student. And I'll just click on Next. I'll create the invoice. Now I can print the invoice from here. Or I can also just close. At this point, when I go to report and I want to know how much each student owes me, I'll just go to report customer service and customer balance summary. Now you see that I created these two bills individually for these two students. But the rest of these are paying the same and this is what i use the batch invoice for as simple as that now if each of these students is now coming to pay or they are, they are now coming to pay their their bills what i have to do is just click on receive payment so i, I you create an invoice from here then you receive payment for receive payment means that you have created a bill for the students and they are now coming to pay so i'll just click on receive payment and what I will do is that I will select the person who is coming to make the payment or if I also know the person name I just have to type it and the name will come if I also know the person's code or ID number I type it the name will come or I will just click on the drop down 
select the individual who is making the payment so this person is making payment nearly you select him it will show his bill okay so how much is the person paying so you put the amount that the person is paying so he's paying three thousand out of the three thousand eight hundred and he paid cash if this check 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 if it is cash cash once you finish you click on save and close now when i go to report i want to know how much each of these students owe me you will know that this person's owner was 380 paid 3000 there's a balance of 800 if you want to know the details why his balance is 800 just double click on it you notice that you created an invoice for him 38 and you make payment 3000 and that is a balance of 800 as simple as that for customers also for customer report you can also get the detail so report customers and receivables balance detail that one will give you all the transactions that have affected a particular student and remember it is also arranged in classes so for example accounted and taxes customer balance sorry um, customers and receivables see that there's scratch these are the balances for each of the students going and uh, we have not created any bills for other students so you don't see them here so as simple as that now once you receive the money it's either the money goes to the bank straight or it passes through the school if the money goes to the bank straight then you have to confirm and make sure that the money actually hit has actually hit the bank account so once it hit the bank account what you do is that you have to record it in your quickbooks and take quickbooks where the amount went so remember you received this three thousand uh, from this particular student bonnie and this money went straight to um, let's say it went to our bank account i didn't add them so let me add our bank account it's save as gcb the money went to our gcb bank account so i just select gcb if it came to our cash in the office select cash in the office that's the main our main cash so bank gcb saving close so this money has been moved to uh, our gcb bank account mm. so make sure you check the box and save and close so it has been moved to our gcb bank account here as simple as that so basically these are how you this is how you you create the invoice and also receive payment from them uh, now if you want to record some expenses i'm doing it briefly so if you want to record some expenses just click on right check where are you making the payment from so we are making some payment from from um, our JCB bank account, we are paying for um, some um, periodic cars from race series. We type a memo, monthly news papers bill. Oh, this one is also in pay so monthly newspapers. <laughs> For your regardless list, you are paying from our bank account. Save and close. Now let's say we are moving some money to for into our petty cash account. So what you have to do is you just have to go to banking, um, transfer funds from GCB bank account to our petty cash account. Uh, let's say we are transferring five hundred Ghana city. You are transferring some amount for petty cash papers. So you are moving the money. Now we have some petty cash here. So if you want to make payment from petty cash, just click on right check. Um, making a payment from petty cash you're paying for um, some meals and entertainment which is um, on 20 cities you type a memo to describe your transaction save a new we are doing another payment from our petty cash and we are making the payment to um, a particular vendor uh, we call mailcom and you're making a payment for um, some uh, cleaning and sanitation materials, uh, which cost two hundred cities. You type a memo. What specifically do you buy? Then um, save the close. So that's as simple as. For example, now I can generate a report on my profit and loss status. Um, so you can see that um, uh, for this particular month. I've collected admission fees, or I have earned, not collected, but I've earned this amount of admission fees, feeding fees, or these are all incomes, total is here, the expenses, 
then um, my um, net profit so the quick has several features but for the purpose of this demonstration i'll end here during the actual implementation uh, we'll take you through all the features uh, thank you